hello guys uh welcome back to my channel maison african motives uh still working on uh, mechano techniques info so in this platform we shall have a continuation uh working on the question paper which was written in uh, april 2020 that is on question number five which is uh, on gear drives so actually on gear drives uh guys you see that uh, it's a repetition that is actually taking place so and for most cases uh, if you are working with mechano uh, you are supposed to follow these steps that uh, we are going to use in these videos to answer any question because they repeat in that manner so you're going to see that this question you compare with another question you see that it's a repetition throughout so anyways let us quickly rush through the question guys we are given that a set of spa gears pinion a pinion b and the gear wheel a so we know that the pinion this one is the smaller one that is the smaller and that is the bigger one okay i hope this one we understand yes a velocity ratio of 3 comma 5 s to 1 and the module of 8 millimeters the pinion is 40 teeth which means the smaller one and calculate the following that is the pitch circle diameter for both gears all right so like i said guys it's all about uh, formulas so definitely for you to use formulas you need to list down the information there so we say it our opinion that's b then our gear wheel in this case is a so which means a is the the bigger one then uh, b is the the smaller one so uh, that is what we have and we are given the velocity ratio so we have got the velocity ratio here which is uh, 3 comma 5 s to 1 remember that the velocity ratio the one that we are given this is actually a fraction to write this is uh, simply like x s to y like this which is the same as x over y like this so this can be written as 3 comma 5 over 1 which is equal to remember that the velocity ratio is equal to the number of teeth on the gear wheel over the number of teeth on the pinion which is the same as uh, the rotational that is uh, the revolutions that you're going to have per minute but this time uh, we are going to work with the p with the pinion first which is the smaller one over the gear wheel all right like that so that is uh, a lot that you can have there so let's just leave it like that and uh, we've got the module and the pinion teeth so the module remember that it's m which is um eight millimeters and we are given the pinion has got uh, 40 teeth and we say the pinion is b so which means we are given t for b all right this is 40 teeth now the question is calculate the pitch circle diameters for both gears all right uh, we know that the pitch circle diameter guys is taken from uh, the formula of what of the module this one all right we know that uh, the module is equivalent to the pitch circle diameter over the number of teeth all right so in this case if you are to work with the first part if you are to work uh, in fact with the gear wheel this one you will see that we do not have the number of teeth here for the gear wheel so we can maybe start with b because on b we are given the number of teeth and also the the module is there so that means we are going to work with b so let us just write b here to represent that you are working with b which is the pinion all right so since we want this we are going to make it the subject or you can just replace like i said m this module is there it's eight so we can just substitute it okay so we can make this the subject which is over one like this one times this is going to give us p c uh, d of b which is equal to m times tb all right 
that is what you're going to to have there so now you can substitute the module which is eight times uh, tp the number of teeth which is 40 teeth like that so take note this is in um, millimeters so our answer is going to be in millimeters also which is 320 millimeters so that is the pitch circle diameter of uh, the pinion all right but the question is asking for both so which means how can we find our ta because it's not there so that's the question how can we find ta take note guys there is this relationship from the velocity ratio this one we said tb is there so you can find ta from this equation okay um let's just put it here so since the velocity ratio is equal to 3,5 over 1, which is this one, which is equal to TA over TB. So it follows that we can equate these two to say 3,5 over 1 like this is equal to, this is what you want to calculate, and this you are given from uh, the pinion which is 40 here so this one you are given so that means you can calculate ta so that you can use the same formula like this but for ta so that is the major aim of doing this so one times ta that is ta which is equal to 3,5 times 40 which is going to give us um if we multiply it's going to give us 140 there if i'm not mistaken so which means the number of teeth on the gear wheel remember this is the gear wheel ta uh, or b is the pinion so now we can find the pitch circle diameter which is we are just going to take from this stage but now with a and a here so it's going to be the pitch circle diameter for a is the module times the number of teeth for a so that is these two must correspond all right so therefore the pitch circle diameter for a which is the gear wheel is the module the module is not going to change it's the same module that we had of eight millimeters times ta which is the one that we calculated here of 140 like that so that is uh, that was the stage there so this is going to give us something like uh, 1120 remember this was in millimeters it's going to be millimeters so that's the pitch circle diameter for for the gear wheel um that is the condition there all right then let's see for the um, the other question the center distance between the shafts the center so like i said guys mecano it's all about the formulas to know which formula to to use remember if you are working with um spark gears uh, you are going to use this formula the center which is a uh, the center distance you write it as c like that all right so it is going to be the module times ta plus tb like this so that is the the formula there so it's ta plus tb so that is the module there that's the module over two yes module over it's supposed to be over two exactly so that yes because uh, it's in between take note it's in between the two guys take note you'll be having uh something like this all right so you'll be having something like this so you need the distance that is in between there so that is why you have to divide by what by two all right so it's the module and remember our module is eight millimeters so it's eight over two times you add the number of teeth for both uh, the for the pinion and for the for the gear wheel and for the pinion so ta is for the gear wheel, which is this one 140 
plus TB. Remember, TB was the one that we were given uh, on the information. Already this one was there. We didn't calculate this one. This one was already there. So you add 40 there. So take note, guys. Do not confuse here. It's M over 2. Yeah. So this is going to give us 8 divided by 2, uh, which is 4 there times... If you add these two, you're going to obtain 180 there. All right, that's 140 plus 40, which is 180. So if I multiply these two, that's going to be 720 millimeters like this. So that is uh, what we are going to obtain in this case on our 5.2 to calculate uh, the center distance. All right, then the other question is the outside diameter of both gears. The outside diameter. Okay, so this is the formula that you're going to use to calculate the outside diameter. So this is 5.3. So the formula was supposed to be like this. The outside diameter is equal to, this time is the module times T plus 2. Like this exactly, T plus 2. That is what you're supposed to have. But you are working with both gears, which is the pinion and the gear wheel. So this is going to be like this. The outside diameter for, let's start with the gear wheel, which is A, is equal to the module. Remember, the module is for both. Times T, which is the number of teeth for A, because I'm working with the gear wheel plus two like this so this is the formula now that i'm going to use for the gear wheel okay so let's substitute guys the module is there remember we are given eight millimeters times ta plus two of which our ta is the one that we calculated which was um 140 this one ta so it's 140 plus 2 like this. So it's 8 times 142. If you add these two, you are going to obtain 142 there. So let's multiply. It's going to give us um, 336. Remember, this was in millimeters. So it's just going to be millimeters. So that is uh, the outside diameter for the gear wheel. So this is uh, for the gear wheel. Okay, let's see for the pinion. So using the same formula, but this one is for the pinion. So it's going to have B and B here. So that is the outside diameter for the pinion is equal to the module times the T for the pinion plus 2 like this. So that is the formula. So the module is already given. We said our module there is uh, 8 times TB. Remember, TB was the one that was already given for the pinion. Our B was already given, which was 40 there. So it's 40 plus 2 like this. So this one is going to be 40 plus 2. That is what we're going to, to have in this case, of which is going to be 8 times uh, 42 there, which is going to be 336 millimeters so that is what you're going to to have in this case so i want us to cross check there guys this is uh, 1136 millimeters this one 1136 millimeters there that is what we have not 336 this that's 8 by what? 8 by 142. That's so. 8 by 142, which is 1136. Yeah. So that is 1136 millimeters there. This one. So take note, guys. Let us just remove this part here. So this is 1136. And this is 336. All right. I'm surprised why these two answers are the same now. All right. Anyways, that is what we had them. 
Then the last part is the total depth that must be fed into the blank in order to cut the teeth. So take note this one, you're going to use this formula um, for the total depth in this case. All right, so you are going to add the two, but let's just write as total depth like this. So you are going to add the addendum and the dedendum together. So it's addendum plus dedendum like this. So these are the two that you are going to add. All right, and remember that this addendum is equivalent to the what? To the module. This is equivalent to M, of which M, the module is there, is eight. So this one is going to give us eight millimeters. So now we need the addendum like this, all right, which is equivalent to remember the formula guys it's one comma one five seven times the mod which is m so uh these are the steps guys that you just need to follow it's not that much yeah you just need to memorize uh the formulas that you are you are given there so this is going to give us um one comma one five seven times m which is eight millimeters which is going to give us um nine comma two five six millimeters so just cross check with your calculator guys you know um maybe some mistakes can happen but just cross check with your calculator so that is your addendum and that is your addendum this one addendum guys this is a unit addendum addendum all right Anyways, that's, and that's an E there, not human. That's the dendam like this, all right. Then you have to combine these. So guys, I don't know, just cross check your spelling there. The total depth like this. Uh, that is the total depth, remember, is the sum of the two, all right, which is eight millimeters plus the dendam which is uh, 9,256 millimeters, all right. So if you add these two together, you are going to obtain 17,256 millimeters like this. So that is your total depth in this case, the total depth. So the total depth is all about uh, what you are given, uh, that is the addendum and the dedendum together. You combine them or you add them together. That is the, the idea there. So guys, we shall be working with more questions and more question papers uh, like this part that we had. So what you just need is to revise more from your past papers and um, your textbooks together uh, it can help you to achieve a better mark in uh, this subject so that's it guys from Amazon African Motives till we meet again